imagine your everyday nine to five job and you've been there for a while, but it's honestly a job that you were dreaming of since you were a kid. So you really love it there. You actually turn out to be really, really good at your job. And in your first year there, you make the company so much money and you even win awards throughout your whole time there. All of a sudden, your beloved workplace pulls you aside and sternly demands that you either remove a tattoo of your own name or you're gonna find somewhere else to work. This story is awfully similar to what happened to LaMelo Ball. So with that being said, in this video, we're gonna dive into who LaMelo Ball is, what exactly the tattoo was, and why the NBA randomly forced him to cover it up. Now let me ask you a question, and you can answer it in the comments if you like. Would you cover up a tattoo in this situation, or would you find somewhere else to work? LaMelo LaFrance Ball was born in Anaheim, California, to parents LaVar and Tina Ball, who luckily enough for him, were both former college basketball players. About 97% of you guys watching this video right now haven't subscribed, so I'd greatly appreciate it if you subscribed and liked this video so I can know that you enjoy this content and I can keep bringing you stuff like this on a regular basis. So LaMelo was destined to be a basketball star since birth, being trained by his father and his three brothers since the moment he could walk. At age four, he started playing the sport with his older brothers, Alonzo and Leangelo. So by training and playing pickup games with much older opponents his whole life, the, the game came easy to him when it came time to play against opponents his own age. In 2013, while in seventh grade, LaMelo began playing with older brothers on Big Ballers XVT, a 17 and under AAU team launched and coached by his parents. If you were around the basketball scene back then, then you definitely heard about these three putting up historic numbers for high school players and being headed by a really loud mouth head coach, their dad. So when it came time for LaMelo Ball to start playing basketball in Chino Hills High School in California, his freshman season, he was teammates with his two older brothers, Lonzo and Leangelo, and his cousin, Andre Ball. In his first game, LaMelo scored 27 points as a starter, and he was noticeably undersized, but he played so well that it didn't really matter. Everyone knew by just watching him play that if he ever hit his growth spurt, it was over for the competition. This man eventually grew to being six foot seven and was later drafted to the Charlotte Hornets in the 2020 NBA draft with the third overall pick, which is really, really good. So do you remember back in the beginning of this video where we discovered LaMelo Ball's middle name? Let me see if you pay attention. What is LaMelo Ball's middle name? And don't look it up, don't cheat. Is it A, LaVar, B, LiAngelo, C, LaFrancis, or D, Lonzo? Well, if you chose C, LaFrance, you were right. And being the rich and famous basketball star that he is, coming off of being a reality TV star with his family, he later went on to start his own fashion company of his own, and he named it LaFrance, his middle name. He then later got this the logo of LaFrance tatted on his neck, and the tattoo looks like this. Now, we've seen hundreds and hundreds of NBA basketball players over the years have tattoos, and especially we've seen ones who have tattoos on their neck. So this leads us to the question, why did the NBA make him cover it up? The NBA spokesman Tim Frank told ESPN LaMelo Ball's neck tattoo is a blatant violation of the rules under the new collective bargaining agreement, stating that players are prohibited from wearing commercial logos or corporate insignias on their bodies or in their hair during games, and he's required to cover it up. Now, I'm not gonna lie, it would really, really suck, but I would most definitely cover it up so I can keep hooping and making millions of dollars in the NBA. Just like any genius, any any sound human being would do, he covered it up. Now, I personally don't believe in getting my own name tatted on me, so this new CBA rule would have affected me, but in the Miller Ball situation, he covered it up so he can continue hooping and all as well. Now, it kind of sucks, but you know what else sucks? A man dropping $62,000 on OnlyFans and getting blasted for being a simp online like in the videos on screen right now for you. 